King's Quest V. Look at the, the... It's all different. But everyone's favorite thing. See, I can... Can you imagine the, this would be the first time <laughs> in 199 like this? It's like, what? And this coming on the screen? Yeah. It, the graphics are amazing. Have you previously played King's Quest V? Why, no! <laughs> Not in DOS version! I mean, even look at the, the pointer. Castle Daventry. Ooh, I'm gonna take a poop on He's this. not been here yet. <laughs> Why else was he there? Well, according to Al's quest, he was just a jerk. <laughs> or, according to some people, he is Mordak, his little henchman. henchman trying to kill us. They could have done so much more with the Black Cloak Society. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you make King's Quest Seven. It's like you don't like the game. <laughs> I know, it's odd. It's like it's Look bad. Look at the art. Like, that is storybook. I mean, people probably were like... I mean, I didn't play this until like 92 or 3. So I'd already seen Super Nintendo and, a, uh -huh. you know, better... You know, so this wasn't as big of... What was... The big surprise was playing it on CD-ROM and it was talking. Even though, you know, today it's all terrible. My castle! What has happened? <laughs> my god! <laughs> my god! My castle! What has happened? Oh dear god, what is that? I'm an abomination! I can tell you what happened! What? Ooh, it was what happened to your castle. I know what it is! You did? Well, then, what happened? It was a powerful and evil wizard, Mordak, who did it. I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Ooh. Don't stop now. Go on. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the air. Ooh. Why? Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What could he have against me and my family? That I don't know. Ooh, I only know it was Mordak who took the castle and your family. Ooh. Perhaps I can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard, which is why I recognize Mordak. Unlike Mordak, though, he's a good guy. His name is Christopher. It moves quick. I don't, you know. It's it's in like turbo mode. <laughs> um. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on with yours and tends to be a bit forgetful. Ooh. I don't know. This doesn't sound as if it would work. <laughs> it will. I promise. Get away from me. Oh, sure it would. Crispin is a very qualified wizard, one of the best. Ooh. He just gets a little forgetful now and then. That's all. Ooh. Now, where was I? I know. I brought it with me. Ah, oh, here it is. It's some poisonous powder. I mean, what is that? Powder. What is that? Well, it is, in my opinion, that you don't stand a chance against the hey. of Mordek. Excuse me for saying, Your Majesty, but you don't have a choice. You must come with me. I'm sure Crispin can help you. Let me sprinkle you with this. What is that stuff? Oh, just some leftover fairy dust I've been carrying around for the parties, you know. You can follow me to the land of Sierra... Uh, what is it? Serenia? Where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. I think the fairy dust is still good. Come up here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> follow me. Woo! And I'm sure people right now are like, oh my god. My god. There it is, down here, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's a poison. Oh, wait, it's not the right line yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, the fairy dust wore out. Looks like the fairy dust just wore off. 
Cedric, where have you been? I've been calling for you. I've been working for more day. I mean, I mean, no, no, no. Oh. Well, well, what do we have here? A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense sitting around like a wet dog. I love how they still animated the lips even though, like, they didn't need to. Cedric, go on in the house and pour each of us a cup of tea. Aye, aye, Crispin. I'll make sure it's not to be poisonous. <laughs> The Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordek and his abuse of his power. Why, he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good, though. Crispin, why? Why would Mordek want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordek is a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that evil mind of his. I thought perhaps you could help His Majesty Crispin. That's why I brought him. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know, but I've gotten a little rusty lately. What have you been doing? A little rusty? That's quite enough from you, Cedric. I will kill you. Yes, sir, Crispin, sir. That's better. Should I just shut up and stay in the corner? Yes, I don't know what I have that would be much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. But let's see what I can find. <laughs> he just, like, barely moves across the screen. No, that won't do. That's all used up. It might work. Here, eat this. <laughs> what? Okay, what is that? It's an old piece of magical white snake that I had left over from last year. Sorry, it might taste bad. With it, you might you be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. You can find that quite helpful. Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. You should know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect and hopefully it will do something for you. Take this. I don't want it anymore. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that confounded Mordak could be up to. You go with him, Cedric. Show him the way. Oh, I would be happy to. I can't believe you picked me. Yes, you. Don't be such a coward, you piece of shit. I have a friend. Now go on. Get away from me. I've done all I can. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. Except for the bird here. <laughs> I would rather die than take Cedric with me. Do I have to? Ooh, we're going to be the best of friends. <laughs> I suggest we visit the town first. How about it, Your Majesty? <laughs> Please don't call me Your Majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Can I call you my friend? No. I'd be delighted to. Graham? Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over the hill. Well then, let's get going, Cedric. Even though we have no money. So here, here's the biggest difference. Oh. So there isn't a, like a pause screen that has everything on it. It just has like the little control thing to speed uh -huh. it up. And so to quit the game, to save the game is all right on the screen and then you have your help so like i said this is the original uh -huh. 1990 version here it's 0. 0.000.051 yes and then you can get help help 
Tells you what, because all this is brand new. Yeah. Point and click. This is it. This is like when people got it. So it's like the weight cursor will appear on the screen any time that the game is at a stage where it will not respond to any of your commands. During this time, you will not be able to move Graham, nor will you have access to the icon bar. This is how you use a mouse. <laughs> The hold cursor will appear on the screen any time that Graham is not under your control, but the game will still respond to other commands that don't involve moving Graham. The icon bar and most of its functions will still be available to you during this time. <laughs> That's how long ago this was. Walk is something you have to be told. Choose walk when you want to move Graham from place to place on screen. A walking Graham will move until he encounters an obstacle in his path, then stop. Choose travel when you want Graham to avoid obstacles in his path without stopping as he travels longer distances. So if you look, travel and walk are two different things. There's two different things. Choose look when you want Graham to look at something on screen. What? <laughs> Choose action when you want Graham to perform an action on an object. Example, getting a drink from a pond, jumping onto a rock, etc. Choose talk when you want to initiate a conversation between Graham and another game character. Choose item when you want Graham to use that item in the game. An image of the most recently selected inventory item will appear inside the frame. Choose inventory when you want to see a select and, and select from the items you are currently carrying. Choose save and restore when you want to save your game or restore a previously saved game. Choose pause, restart, or quit when you want to pause the game, quit playing, or restart the game from the beginning. Choose controls when you want to adjust Graham's walking speed, the sound volume, and the game detail level. And then what we're currently doing. So, what's you that have walk for save? That is such a weird. Yeah, the disc. Symbol. What's <laughs> weird is how you can walk and travel, or or travel. That's what's weird. Is it basically run? I don't know. Nestled among the trees of the forest sits the wizard Crispin's worn but cozy cottage. Nothing. <laughs> a small well is located near the cottage. A small cellar door is located under the house. I'm used to a like a comforting grandpa voice I mean, reading this. But Tony Pond adds charm to Crispin's forest at home. <laughs> a small stone bridge crosses the pond below Crispin's house. The thick pane windows adorn the small house. It is difficult to see through them. Cedric is a piece of shit. What? <laughs> An unusual ornament decorates Crispin's front yard. Crispin, being a wizard, it must have some magical significance, which Graham could never understand. That's Crispin's universe interpreter. Be careful. You might accidentally realign the stars. <laughs> Can I do it again? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Cedric isn't in the mood to talk right now. I'm always in the mood to talk. I don't have any friends. <laughs> don't be wasting your time coming in here, young man. I've done all I can for you. Now it's up to you. Well, anyway, I'm not going to be here for a little while. There's an emergency I have to attend to in a neighboring land. I'll try to keep an eye out for you, but this is something you and Cedric are going to have to do yourselves. I wish you the best, King Graham. I appreciate all you've done, Crispin, which is absolutely nothing. <laughs> and he could do so much more, but he's like, he does, he's just not doing anything. No, not at all. It's uh, this walk command. Oh, yeah. He literally. Why? What is the point? Small movements? I guess. I don't know. That's whatever. Maybe it won't go off screen. Well, we won't be using it. <laughs> okay. Watch out! A poisonous snake! Isn't it venomous? Cedric, isn't venomous the correct term? Poison is something you ingest. Venom is something injected into it. So, yes, let's look out a venomous snake! I'm not educated! <laughs> Just because someone can talk doesn't mean they know what they're talking about yeah just get on facebook <laughs> a worn dirt path wanders through a thick wood alive with the sound of many creatures between the trees to the east graham <laughs> can see the outline of a great mountain range cedric keeps his eye on graham while perched on a nearby tree branch i said that 
A large venomous snake blocks <laughs> Graham's passage to the east. I, the narrator, am much smarter than that damn bird. He is a bird brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ooh, see how the path goes to the east up into the mountains? That's the route to Mordak's castle. If you follow the path to the south over the next rise, you'll come to the town. Cedric isn't listening to Graham at the moment. I'm not used to being a good listener because I've never had a friend before. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not how we save in this version. We must use the floppy disk. <laughs> This is so different. <laughs> okay, well, we'll walk over. <clears throat> oh. Watch out for those critters, Graham. They give me the jitters. Ghibli, 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 ghibli. <laughs> the ghiblies. Oh, it's everyone's favorite town. The quaint little town of Serenia nestled at the base of a great snow-capped mountain range which rises sharply to the east. Is that the moon up in the sky, or what is that? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks! Secure within the small pin, a pretty cow quietly chews her cud. No. That poetic. <laughs> a small tributary of the larger river powers an old water wheel as it flows through the town. A wild river tumbles down from the eastern mountains and flows swiftly below the small town. It does give a hint that it's, like, dangerous. If you follow this road along the river, you'll come to the town bakehouse. You might find something delicious. I mean, useful. <laughs> Don't you mean sacrilegious? <gasps> oh, no! You're already getting me in this game! Cedric isn't paying any attention to Graham. Which is fine by me! Graham, can I go with you into town? If you go on into town, I'll wait for you here. I had a nasty run-in with a dog once, and I'd feel safer out here. Ooh. That's fine, bye! Don't leave without me! Yes. <laughs> Quaint houses and cute shops line the town's main cobblestone street. The town is busy with people going about their daily chores. <laughs> a prosperous looking tailor shop occupies the town's main corner. I feel like we might need Toys. to do some of this stuff at some point. Tailor. Shoe shop. A cute toy shop fronts the town's cobblestone street. Nearly hidden at the end of the street sits a small shoe stop, stop shoe store. Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old fish. I like the music. Graham leans into the barrel and removes... Phew. The smelly old fish. <laughs> like how they actually, like, stop and do things, even though they still won't talk to you. The people are too busy to spend much time talking to Graham. Blocking an alleyway, a frustrated man fixes a broken wheel on his wagon. How goes it with you, good fellow? Not well, I'm afraid. This old wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. All right, then. Good luck. Thanks. With this wagon, I'm going to need it. Graham, where are you going? <laughs> the toy okay, store. Okay, <laughs> I guess he really wanted to go to the toy <laughs> store. Come on in, look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. I'll hit... I mean, shit. <laughs> the shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to visit the sawmill. We're having a propaganda meeting <laughs> here anyways. Okay, Papa. The brown shirts are nearby. A pretty little girl, who must be the toy maker's granddaughter, plays with a doll while Grandfather looks on. A child's wonderland of toys fill this cute little toy shop. If by wonderland you mean two marionettes. 
Yes, my that's uh, oh. Yes, my darling. Can I keep this dolly? I really like her. Ach, no! Ach, du lieb! Now, Katrina, you know these toys are for sale for other children. Besides, you got plenty of dolls. You can play with her, but just be careful. All right, Grandpa. I'll take care of her. I'm gonna slip her into my bedroom and stab her. Oh, my, my lord! The pet goldfish swims endlessly around its fishbowl. Hanging on a side wall, Graham notices a strong little sled. That should be small enough to fit in his... Uh, that's a fine sled, isn't it? Any child would love to have it. Yes, I was just admiring the worksmanship. Ah, oh, thank you. If you'd like to buy it, let me know. I'm going to take your fish home. Can you trade fish? <laughs> Apparently, the toy maker's son, working in the back room, is learning the toy business from his father. The back door is for employees only. This is a fine little toy shop you have here. You must be very proud. Thank you, son. I worked very hard at it over the years. But you know, you really need to love it. And I do. Oops. Something about creations. Yeah, most of them, but not all. Some my son made, and some I bought. Some I traded for. You're very talented. Danke, danke. Well, let me know if I can help. Hey, it's oh, shit, it just comes out sometimes. Don't leave. <laughs> I'm having none of this. <laughs> can I go into the tailor shop now? Ooh, watch out. He went back in there again. Uh, maybe there's a glitch. Well, I think you can... Papa, where did you put those new doll clothes Mama made? That's new. Look at the trunk upstairs. I think I put them there. They're an SS uniform. <laughs> I'll do that. Papa, we're going to have to take you in. 999. Nine, nine. I know it works because I played through this before, <laughs> like, at the beginning to make sure it didn't bug out. Um, may I help you, sir? The tailor, an aristocratic-looking man, attends socialistically to Graham as he looks at the wares in the tailor shop. An employee of the tailor, a friendly, good-looking young man, caters hopelessly to a disagreeable customer in the back dressing room. At the back of the shop, Graham notices a dressing room in which a finicky customer tries on and rudely rejects many items of fine clothing. In the corner of the shop, draped casually over a tailor's form, Graham sees a thick, fur-lined coat. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, that cloak fits you perfectly. <laughs> it just looks wonderful on you. Let me tell you, it will certainly keep you toasty warm during this coming winter. Let me know if you wish to buy it. I have nothing. I have a fish. <laughs> I'm interested in buying something. Ah, let me show you some things. We don't have anything. We have a fish. A fine piece <laughs> of cloth. With this material, I could make you beautiful shirts. There isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I could make you the finest trousers you've ever seen. Well, what do you think? Well, right now, I'm just looking. Thanks anyway. Sure, sure. Whatever you say. I'm just here to help. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do here. Let's go get depressed. Who was the person that was in the dressing room? Was that supposed to be, like, one of the... I always employees? thought it was Ken Williams. Take a look around if you want, but we don't have any shoes to sell you right now. We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore. We're getting too old to keep trying. Is there anything I can do to help? There ain't nothing you can do short of buying us out. But, like I said, if you want to look around, feel free. Okay, thanks. Look around at what? <laughs> Business doesn't seem to be so good for the shoemaker and his wife. There isn't one pair of shoes for sale, and the old couple look worn out. The shoemaker's wife, looking haggard and worn, tiredly stitches away at a large piece of shoe leather. 
a skinny old dog lies down on the shoe shop's hard floor, dying of starvation. Can we give it the fish? <laughs> the old shoemaker, eyes squinted and fingers calloused from years of making shoes, drives tiny nails into a shoe sole with a small cobbler's hammer. Ah. Let's look at their peasantry thing. Oh, nothing. The old shoemaker wearily hammers tiny nails into a shoe shawl. He doesn't even seem to notice, Graham. You don't have any shoes for sale, huh? That's right, no shoes at all. We're making a pair right now, but it'll take a while. We're old. Well, that's okay. My trusty boots should carry me through the rest of my journey. Sorry, son, we're doing the best we can. Our dog's died from starvation. Can you feel- Whee! Here goes Graham! <laughs> Getting out of there! <laughs> Bending down, Graham quickly retrieves the silver coin from the street. <gasps> we have monies! Let's go buy some Yeah, coins. let's go- let's go buy the, uh... May I help you, sir? I don't trust this game. Oops, wait. Once again, gotta get- <laughs> Not stop. I'm afraid that it'll be like, You've lost your coin! Oh my lord. You can't ever. It is a common silver coin. Look, their score. Phew, the smelly old fish is disgusting. The old one doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it. Why well, is it weird if they pick weird number scores to have? Like 260. Why not make it 250 or something? <laughs> I would like to buy that fine cloak hanging in the corner. Will you take a silver coin for it? A silver coin? You must be joking. That beautiful cloak is worth much more than that. Uh, well, since you'd like me to go here anyway. German joke. Can I buy the sled with a silver coin? You are a Doomkopf. I'd love to sell it to you. But I'm afraid I need a bit more than that. Papa, Mama wants you to know that it's almost lunchtime. Quit banging that doll and come eat lunch. Okay. Uh-oh. Grandpa! Ye what? Can oh. I keep this no. doll? I we really like it. We've already it. heard this. Shut the hell up, you stupid brat. I'm gonna stab your eyes out while you sleep. Da -da 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 -da. I learned from my grandpa how to behave. <laughs> He taught me the best of what? <laughs> oh, it's you! Same thing you already You're said. You're my bestest friend! Oh, God, kill me now. Kill me now! No more! Will you be my best no more friend at the wedding? Wait, Grim, be careful! Oh, you fool! I hate you! After you already hurt yourself, I won't. This ain't no swimming hole, Graham. <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of things that are different, and a lot there's a lot more dialogue. Like more, I guess because you, you could put more. Text. Yeah, you could put more text than you could. I don't the, I wonder. The audio probably they probably fine tuned it to where it took less words to speak. Yeah, because the they probably needed it to be short. I need to get my box out in a little bit and look and see how many discs this was. All right, in the next episode, we'll head on to the baker and actually do something. This is one of my favorite games we play. Oh yeah, it's a great one. Bye everybody. Bye. We're back, and this ain't no swimming hole, Graham. Ooh, All I wanted to do was just it's kill a my. Rapid river. I I don't know if I can handle this. King Graham, you're my best friend. Don't go without me. Uh oh. You're waiting for me. How nice. <laughs> I was really trying not to. The huge pile of logs to fuel the bakehouse ovens. I love how they call it a bakehouse. With a few, with a fine view of the rushing river, a bakehouse sits a bit out of town along an old rutted road. The cold river courses swiftly by the town bakehouse. There's some fucking trees right there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? No, I wasn't expecting that. that was... <laughs> there's some, there's some smoke causing cancerous, 
carcinogens to kill the folks They're of changing Serenium. the climate. <laughs> this tree, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> this owl is a piece of shit. Ooh, I'm a solid gold piece of shit. Oh, he's talking. See the road there? Back to the east is the town. You just came from there. You'll find a run-down inn if you follow the road to the west. Cedric is being useful now. Watch out! That river's dangerous after you've already stepped in it. By the way, I went straight for the the thing. Yeah. And it was like, nope. No, don't! Ah, you fucking son of a bitch, Confed! I hate you! Why didn't I tell you before he turned? This is a family game. A family picture. Do do do. Baker Brothers Bakehouse. How original. I'll wait for you out here, Graham. I'll never leave. For a second, I thought the man was wearing the dress the way it was. And how is your poor dear mother doing, William? Oh, that's the lady. She hasn't been doing well lately, but my brother and I keep an eye on her. Thanks for asking, Amanda. Austin, keep your fingers out of that pie. The pie looks delicious. My voice is now correct. I think I'll take one. <laughs> yes, they were just made fresh this morning. Here you go. Well, it's like, he's like, yes, they were just made fresh this morning. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this will be a fine dessert for our dinner tonight. I hope you like custard pie. Because it's yet all... approved. <laughs> Let's go home, Austin. Let's get out of this awful place. What's your name? My name's Austin. I'm here with my mama. We're buying pie. That's nice. Good day, madam. That pie looks awfully good. Ah, uh, yes. My family will enjoy it. Please stop staring at my child. He appears to be in too much of a hurry to talk to Graham. The bitch <laughs> should die. Aww, it's the, a kitty. the Baker brothers seem to have a pet. A large, mangy cat. Mmm, sacrilegious. Oh. The wonderful smells of the bakehouse set Graham's stomach to rumbling and his mouth to watering. Maybe we should eat the custard pie. Delicious, mouth-watering custard pies lining the countertop attract Graham's eyes. And nose. <laughs> it's smell a vision Here's yeah. the last of the pies. Welcome to our bakehouse, Traveler. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful, but today we've got a special one, custard pies. Oh, pfft. They're only a silver piece each. That is correct. In the kitchen of the bakehouse, Graham can see another big burly man, what we would nickname a bear, doing the day's baking. They're not really brothers, and if you look at what he's doing <laughs> right there, you would clearly understand what is about to occur. Whoop, the... They don't Does he do that in the other version? I don't know, but that looks more like a woman than a man. I know, but I think feel like they're doing more. Okay. Probably, I honestly think they probably pared things down just to save space in order to do all the audio. The baker bides his time behind the counter while Graham looks hungrily at all the delicious wares. We're... The Not kitchen is off limits because he's masturbating in the back, and that's where the cream comes from for the custard pies. That's why they're only a silver each. Where'd he go? I'm gonna talk to him. The baker's brother is too busy to chat with Graham. Everything looks so delicious, it's hard to decide what to buy. <laughs> Everybody has that problem, but what a problem to have! <laughs> Those custard pies look awfully good. Yes. Made from a recipe handed down from our dear mama, and her mama before her. Oop. We'll take we'll take your time. There's no hurry. <laughs> He's just making up some more custard as we speak. Would you like a pie, sir? Well, yes. Actually, I would. There'll be one silver coin then. Let me see if I have one. Well, let me know if you do. I do. Oh, sir, I would like to buy a pie. The pies cost one silver coin. We've established this. I've got it right here. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. It was made fresh just five minutes ago. Oh, I'm sure I will. Mm. Mm. 
you oh, look, it's a piece of pie! You should say before. Maybe, yeah, and, and, and then... Alright, kids, here's how you lose the game. Mmm, that was the best custard pie Grandma's ever eaten. You've lost. He he raised his hand, he fist bumped. He's like fist bumped his hands. He's like, Yeah, that was, I'm glad you enjoyed my pie. So yeah, we we're not gonna do that. Those men have like huge pecs, they almost look like breasts. Well they might be, they're big burly men. Ooh, don't leave me! I can't Why do I smell custard on your face? <laughs> No nothing. The Swarthy Hog Inn. Just off a rutted dirt road, a country inn overlooks the picturesque rushing river. Weary travelers can enter through the inn's front door. Weary travelers shouldn't get near the fucking back door of our goddamn inn. <laughs> a large haystack... <laughs> Dominates the area in front of the barn, but you shouldn't get your penis in that. It'll get stuck. <laughs> An old, uninteresting barn is located behind the country inn, but I fucking gotta talk about it because I'm the goddamn narrator. <laughs> you can't just see it with your own eyes. <laughs> Ooh, back down the road to the east, you'll run into the bank house. Don't you remember? <laughs> Graham's a piece of shit. <laughs> There's nothing to the west but endless desert. Desert, I mean, desert. Cedric doesn't have anything important to say at the moment or ever. I put a custard pie. <laughs> Graham smushes the pie <laughs> on the side of the inn. That'll show him. <laughs> it's the, instead of egging the house. He... I about, <laughs> I'm never going to get used to this. Hey, maybe that's why. Oh, nope. I was going to see if you no, know what. No, you don't. Woo! Why can't you tell me ahead of time, you piece of gum? I know, he only warns you after you've already made the choice. Well, might as well die again. I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. They steal my money every time we have our gambling matches. The flea-bitten old dog lies asleep in the corner. It's a bit of a more healthy dog than the one at the other place, but it's still a piece of shit. Through an opening doorway, Graham can see part of the inn's dining room. People are going to hate this voice, and I'm just going to keep fucking doing it. <laughs> I love it, by the way. It's my favorite. <laughs> well, the country inn's tavern looks a bit shabby and run down. At the bar, Graham notices three men. It's three men. Is this a gay bar? Huddled over the bar, Graham notices three rough-looking men deep in a serious conversation. Since they're talking in such low tones, Graham can't quite hear what they're saying, and he shouldn't be such a stupid fucking snoop. He's not Laura Bow. <laughs> <laughs> the three. It's like this way. Oh, I won't do it. I was gonna go. <laughs> three men haven't noticed Graham yet. Perhaps if he got closer. Would you like my pie? You know that job we pulled yesterday? Where's the rest of the loot, huh? I think one of you guys is holding out on me. Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt your... Oh. <laughs> Dan's full ain't got no more rooms. Hey boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with them? Rub them out. <laughs> Struggle as he might, Graham cannot escape his bonds. There's like five fucking things you've got to do before that'll work. Or like you just S &S keep S dying place? and dying and dying. But don't worry, Graham. The innkeeper will soon put you out of your misery. <laughs> Cedric could help you, but he's not gonna. Ooh, watch out. There are thugs in there. <laughs> I don't like this place. It's ant infested. The door is locked because no shit. <laughs> Carefully, Graham searches through the haystack but doesn't see anything of importance because it's a needle in a haystack. Get it? A gold I'll, needle, no doubt. I'll, I'll get my coat. Watch out for the bear, Graham! Oh. Okay. No, you don't! What is wrong with you?! <laughs> I 
I've already told you. That's why I said, no, no, you didn't. I don't like the, the eight. No, okay. Let's get punched. <laughs> oh, you really did get punched by a bear. Shouldn't feed the bears, Graham. Have you ever watched Yogi Bear? That thing's a... It's really stupid. And I, 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 I'm I, with the ranger on that. He shouldn't be taking all the fucking picnic baskets because they're not his. I'd just shoot him in the fucking head. This looks like a wolf head and less of a bear's head. Like, like can we talk a, to the bear? bear should have rounded ears. The bear is too intent on the honey to listen to Graham. <laughs> this character's getting dumber. <laughs> it's exposure to Cedric. Yeah. <laughs> Cedric doesn't have anything important to say, which means thank the gods. <laughs> Cedric doesn't want your delicious custard pie. It'd be funny if he ate it. Ah, no, no. Not being much of a honey eater, Cedric shows little interest in the beehive. Graham notices a large stick lying on the ground near the tree, and since he's a kleptomaniac, you probably should take it. The, the river's still really fast here, but you already died. I mean, this is kind of, you know, duh. I like the score point. It's like, la. Oh, God! <laughs> I am Queen Beatrice, kind sir. I'm here to thank you for ever so much. In return, I offer you a luscious honeycomb from our hive. Please feel free to retrieve one. I promise my bees won't sting you. We might sting Cedric, though. Please do. Uh. Graham reaches her hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth, he then pockets it. I love honeycomb cereal. Can't get enough of that honey, Chris. Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but apparently all people, particularly from the United States, are really dumb now. And I'm from there, I can say that. We don't have common sense anymore. <laughs> it's accurate. Do we ever have common sense? Eh, yeah, some. We are the a bully of a dog terrorizes the poor ants as he digs up their large anthill. A mangy old dog digs playfully at the huge anthill while the poor ants scurry frantically around. Real talk right now, why couldn't this have been one of the dogs we've already seen, not a third? This could have been the dog from the inn because they're already jerks. The dog doesn't seem to be friendly as sort at all. He don't give a shit. <laughs> The ants don't seem to take kindly to uninvited trespassing. Oh, oh God, get off that damn blue! Is that a new dance, Graham? The Bugaloo? <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> I've never had a friend to <laughs> joke around me. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Graham, that dog looks mean. Cedric isn't paying attention to Graham. He's not used to having friends. Oh, Graham, that dog looks mean! I don't like dogs! No! It is part of my backstory. Here, boy! <laughs> Why would the dog keep running? I don't... Allow me to introduce myself. I'm King Anthony the Great. May I ask who you are? <sighs> I'm King Graham. Why, certainly. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and this is not anything that matters. We're seeking a way Ooh. to cross the Great Mountains to the ocean on the other side. That is a very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider, but if you shall not, in return for rescuing our home from that flea-bitten cur, I wish to offer you our help if, perchance, you may ever need it. Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate your kind offer. We look forward to meeting you again. I have more <laughs> friends! <laughs> the windows oh. in this game are... Doom, 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 doom. I'm gonna dun, miss them dun, singing dun, in this. Dun, 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 dun. That might be the biggest disappointment of not having the. I know. Utilizing fallen logs, a gnome has built himself a little forest home. An old grandfather gnome sits contently on an old stump and smokes his weed. He watches his grandson at play, and he's a big piece of shit. And he was in the first That's game. That's what I was gonna say. He, he's a recurring character. 
The old gnome seems to ignore Grem fondling him. Excuse me, sir. Oh! Oh, oh no! Sorry. That's all right. Well, he's, we're talking and he just doesn't give a crap because of you course... You can't he's... have the marionette! Yeah, Graham attempts to speak to the young gnome, but the boy seems to be very shy and doesn't answer. I got dumber as it went dumb on. dumb and just doesn't know how to speak. Sitting on the stool in front of his house, a young gnome happily plays with an exquisite marionette. It's like we're gonna need that or something. It's like literally dancing in front of us. <laughs> you will need this! What a wonderful bluebird. You could almost make Graham happy again if it wasn't for his family. Aww. Way to be a fucking depressing piece of shit, narrator. Cedric waits for Graham in a nearby tree. Let's say hello to the young prince, Graham. Mind your manners. He looks like he could use a cheering up. It's not like it's like Graham's dealing with anything. I know. <laughs> Nothing bad has happened to Graham. <laughs> Excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. I was wondering if there was anything wrong. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, there is. I've been searching everywhere for my fiancée. She's a beautiful princess with long golden tresses, fetching Oops. blue eyes. You would love her. I haven't seen anything like that. That's what I figured. No one has seen her. I think that old witch who lives in the dark forest has something to do with her disappearance. I'll keep an eye out for her. If I see her, I'll let you know. I'll let her know you're looking for her. I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I better go back to looking for her. I'm not ever going to find her just sitting around sulking. Thanks for your concern. Can I borrow your owl? Yes, please. Ooh, people are fighting for me. Just trying to get rid of you. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> so Maybe was... you should use the travel instead of the walk. <laughs> That's so much faster. Like, you literally, like, you go from everything to nothing. Well, I was like, we can't go here yet. Enter. The risk. sign seems self-explanatory enough. Enter at your own risk. Well, we have the honeycomb. What are we missing? Uh, everything else. <laughs> the wide dirt path ends in a crude warning sign placed before an ominous-looking forest. Beyond the sign, the path narrows to nothing more than a rude and snarled trail. Cedric is still a piece of shit as he sits nervously <laughs> on a tree limb at the edge of a gloomy forest. Back to the east is Crispin's house. Cedric is useless as always. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Chris, you used floppies. This should not be an issue for you when you see one. You save to save. <laughs> oh no, I'm not going in there. Can't you read the sign, Graham? Come on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. Ooh, go on if you want to. I'll wait here. There might be a poisonous snake in there. It seems to Graham that there is an unusual amount of toads in this forest. In snarling roots, creeping vines, decaying logs, and twisted gnarled trees, the close feeling of the gloomy forest quickly overwhelms Graham. Oh, you can hear the little high-pitched chirping boing. sounds of the frogs. <laughs> that old witch caught Graham totally off guard. Rip it. Better than being a Graham cracker in the first game. <laughs> eh. 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 Yay. Ironically, the prince missed her by like one screen. What's wrong, Graham? That salt water. <laughs> a graceful weeping willow tree grows beside a small pond created from her tears. In her branch like arms, she clutches a beautiful harp as a child would cherish a toy. I tried to cut it down, but it wouldn't let me. The uh, Miss Willow? Yes? You can talk? 
Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. I'm really a princess. You see, my fiance and I were walking through the wood, and I can't finish what I'm saying because <laughs> this text scrolls too fast. Naturally, refused her advances, and she jealously banished me far away. That's a tree. And took her heart. Stole your heart? Yes. She turned my heart into gold and took it away with her. The only way I can become human again is if I have my heart brought back. I have to talk like it's the 1920s. Now all I have to cheer me up is my heart. It's quite magical, you know. It plays the sweetest music you've ever heard. Now please, leave me alone in my sorrow. <laughs> yeah, but... Leave my heart alone. It's mine. <laughs> if you want, I can leave you Cedric. He might be able to cheer you up. What a sad song she plays. Let's try to cheer her up, Graham. See, when you, when you do that in the talkie, she sings. But you talk to Cedric there. Hey, we've been here before. Yeah, let's so see if you talk now. <laughs> well, fine, Cedric. Be that way. You want me to talk? Well, even though it's a little more annoying, it, it's easier to go to the next screen with this one. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like the Mickey Mouse Club march. Yes, I did stop just to listen to that. Do, 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 do. The walking one's a little, uh, special. <laughs> oh, stay away from those bees! What? Really? I you... thought we saved them. They should be our friends. Graham already has taken a honeycomb. It wouldn't be wise to agonize the now friendly bees. Graham, don't be a dick. Can he jump on that rock in the middle of the, the rushing water? <laughs> you hit puberty. <laughs> we're the ants of the King Anthony. We're coming to help King Graham. I'm glad I was aware that we can help you. Look, I've got a golden new last bag. I'd like to present it to you. Where's your funny for it? I have a lot of cocaine. Why? <laughs> we're the ants of the King Anthony. Good luck in your travels, King Graham, and the camel! <laughs> <laughs> Graham doesn't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> it was a musical number, And Graham. in the next episode, we'll come back and go into that then their desert. Stay tuned for part three, fuckers. Watch out, it's another part! Didn't you die? Welcome back to the game that, well, exists. You love this game. I do. It's my favorite King's Quest game. Ah, uh, six is the best. This one is good to me, yay. Now I feel better. <laughs> Ooh, is that a new dance, Graham? Is that the, the Macarena? Fuck are you? <laughs> the Macarena? Keep your eyes on the gypsies, Graham. Don't trust them. I'm a racist against the I'll, gypsies. It's like, look at Cedric. Cedric is a complete and utter racist prick. And you shouldn't be listening to his racist tongue. <laughs> a large ox tied to the gypsies' wagon peacefully munches on the grass. Oh, yeah. While a racist bigot looks on. <laughs> Within the gypsy encampment, Graham notices a dark, burly man who keeps an eye on the racist Cedric Al, ready to stab him in the face at any moment. I think Cedric's the one that everyone needs to be watching. Yeah, I know. 
A steaming pot of stew bubbles over a small campfire near the gypsy wagon. The sullen man doesn't like Graham, so fuck him. Well, they did just come in on their area and then say, Oh, watch these people because they're going to steal us blind. <laughs> right. <laughs> come on, Graham. Move to the next thing. There's nothing but a hot, dry desert for the West. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. If you go, I'm going to stay here. We gotta remember that th it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get much... I can't... You know, when we get to those... You know, warning. This cartoon. We'll probably have to be like... Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Do it like 19... Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? See? See? I told you. See? What are we going to see? Oh, wait. We didn't look at anything. It's a talkie. <laughs> Looking south, the desert seems to extend forever. I always thought that this was like something because it looks like it, oh, yeah, it could come out. Oh, yeah, it's different color. And no, it's just dumb. <laughs> See, because it doesn't do that later on. It's just that one. It's just like, hmm. I like how the music is just a, oh, I'm about to die. The hot sun's taking its toll on Graham. He better the get water. Look like a penis. Quick and fast. <gasps> oh, we got our points. Hey, it's a thing. It's like Petra. <laughs> oh, it's exactly what it is. <sighs> Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Or, <sighs> Life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. <laughs> My acting talent. <laughs> well, it's time to die. Doo, doo, doo. We should have died in the hot desert sun. Uh, uh, I'm going to eat some From across the desert sands, Graham can hear the sound of approaching hoofbeats. What could that be? Friends? Friendly friends. Graham's only ever met friendly people. A spy! Get him! Watch out for the bad guys, Graham. Was that the Nazis looking for the, um, the Holy Grail? <laughs> No, that was the, uh... Oh, it's like, did the rain happen again? <laughs> no, it's the air conditioning. <laughs> I had to swim to get here today. <laughs> yes, he did. It was pretty bad. And it wasn't that way until about, I guess, I guess now about... Like, literally as I was pulling in, the flash flood happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Graham, get behind the rocks. Hide. hide. Okay, we didn't really hide, but it was good enough. Well, we gotta do this like they did in the talkie. Open sesame! <laughs> he went slower instead of faster. <laughs> hey, we learned the, the phrase. Boop! <laughs> did we get points? Open sesame! The temple door won't open. Perhaps there's something missing. Gee, I don't know what that could be. Could it be the fact that we don't have the Indiana Jones the staff, staff? of Amon Ra? Or whatever. I know that's Laura Bow, but the, the, like the staff. Of, okay. What was it, the staff of? Um, it's the dagger of Amon Ra. I know, but I mean, what was his? Uh, I staff? don't know. It's an orb of some sort or medallion that he had to get from Marion. Yeah. And they only had one side because of the burnt hand. Well, no, they... Oh, you mean the Germans yeah, only the had Germans. one. Yeah, the Germans, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think one more over it is the boot. It's a boot time. Boot. Uh-oh, a pit clean and sun-bleached skeleton of a man lies in the sand of the hot, dry desert. What happened? Who can say? But it makes Graham uneasy, nevertheless. How does this narrator know it's a man and not a female skeleton? <laughs> I don't know. He's just racist, just like everybody else. <laughs> An old shoe lies forgotten near the poor man's skeleton. Since Graham is a fucking patro uh, necromantic whatever thief man, I can't think of my kleptomaniacisms today. He takes the man's shoe. Because Graham says... Uh-oh. The hot sun and choking sands are taking their toll on Graham. He must drink. Soon. I must get a drink soon. 
Look, there it is. We lived. A small oasis. It's tantalizing water, so sparkling in the desert sun. Graham's hot, thirsty body is sacrilegiously, irreversibly drawn to it. That's a, like a, a typo. <laughs> Did it? I think. Blah. You. This should like be you know this. three, or I'm looking at a map. <laughs> Four, and then down. Do I know this? Mostly, yes. Down, Did... down, 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 down. Hey, it's people. We <laughs> with disgust because Graham's a lousy racist too. He looks down at the drunken bandit lying face down in the desert sand, completely passed out. I think Graham's just a prude. I don't think he. <laughs> the campfire, all but forgotten, has been reduced to a pile of glowing embers. You think that means you need to take it? Graham burns his hand because you're a <laughs> stupid idiot. Let's go get us some life-giving water. Of course, this will stay on the screen for 20 minutes because he's animated drinking. Let's steal from the corpse. Is that something we're supposed to do? Whew. Holding his nose against the drunken bandit's pungent odor, Graham searches him but doesn't find anything of importance. Oh. Is this written just Hi, for everybody. the game or is it like a remake? Of that intruder! <laughs> Now there are two bodies on the ground. Now, Graham, you're really fucking dumb, and now you're dead. That was very smart. Let's, Roberta shakes her head and says, You're a... Uh, no. <laughs> Roberta packs into your house. Yes. <laughs> a lone camel waits near the large tent while his owner gets laid. There doesn't seem to be any activity going on within the smaller tent. That means we should go in there. And save. Save? How often are you going to save? Eh. Whee! This is more than usual. Hey, how you doing? Grim should avoid the bandit at all. Don't warn me. Who are you? A spy! Who do they think is like trying to get them? Like, why do they think they're spies? Uh, who knows? I'm surprised they don't go, Infidels! Is it like... La -la 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 -la, or something like <laughs> that, you know? A long staff what? at the back of the tent catches Graham's interest. Here's my question. I wonder if they did that, but where they were porting this to Nintendo, they Nintendo will not allow you to have religious... Yeah, but Nintendo didn't get that till later. Nintendo wouldn't have anything to do with the original port, or the original game. They would just change it for theirs, I didn't which know they, they did change a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Nintendo had nothing to do with the original game. I know that, but I wonder if they were thinking ahead. No, no, no. When when did they make that deal? Like, 93. This came out in 90. Mm -hmm. That and the fact I think they're like, this game version sucks, make sure you get the PC version. <laughs> Taking care to be very quiet, Graham reaches out and takes the staff into his possession and shoves it into his endless pockets. Bye-bye. So Graham's a thief? It wasn't held down. <laughs> okay, so one. Two -hoo! How many Oasis? steps does it take to get across the desert? Oasis. You kind of see something in the distance there. That's like where I've sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> How many screens can you go... Like seven, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight. Because you go seven to the first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woohoo! Watch out! A spy! <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have Cedric here to warn you. Thank God. 
Well, this is I the like best part of the game because no. he's not there. Cedric's my favorite character in all the King's Quest series. Except for maybe um, Fifi McFlufferson. Now whatever. you're just being <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Go make you lay out in that river that is my road. Open sesame! Oh no, we gotta go Oh quick. no! The staff broke! <laughs> oh, look at all the pretties. Surely there's nothing gonna go wrong here. Let's just take all the pretties, but let's look for... Oh. Mm, pretties. Treasure! Wait. <clears throat> Treasure? Treasure piled everywhere. I wouldn't have to be a narrator anymore. The sparkling brilliance of it overwhelms Graham as he peers around the temple's interior. Oh my! Look at all this treasure! Did someone say treasure? <laughs> the exit door is about to close! That was no time at all. Cheer up, Graham. At least you can practice your game of tiddlywinks. Does anyone even know what that game is? Anymore? Probably not. I remember playing it as a small child. Bending down, Graham hurriedly picks up the gold coin from the temple floor. Graham crick quick crick quickly grabs the old brass bottle and getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Woo! That was close. But you can still take it. The staff is broken and of no use anymore. How do you know? How do you, you can know? Fix that. Or how else are they going to get into the treasure? Well, too bad, I guess. Graham wishes that this was a vodka fountain. <laughs> When he realizes he's got to go back and see Cedric. <laughs> Ooh, my friend made it alive! He's, he's thinking quickly. <laughs> Graham commits suicide. <laughs> Graham uses Does it his... not let you do it in this version? Maybe you have to do it in the inventory. You do. No, oh, freedom at last! No use! Spend the next 500 years in the bottle! Eh. That's not how uh, they're supposed to work. <laughs> well, that means it's a genie, like a the the kind of genie that's spelled with the D. The gen. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of the genie like we know. Bump. You've never had a friend like Cedric. <laughs> no. Thank God. Thank God. Graham dies immediately. <laughs> Once he realizes his only friend in the world is a <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's an abomination. <laughs> he quickly stabs. Honestly, with the screens looking almost identical from screen to screen, I would have, as a kid, probably thought like, "I'm not going anywhere." Like, what? This? Why am I looping around? Well, after a certain point, you do loop around. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. Even though you oh, didn't... I'm sorry. Talk. I had something on my shirt, and I was like, what is that? It was like a burr from, like, a weed. Well, let's... It will cost you one gold coin to see Madame Mushka. Ooh, Madame Mushka. Here, I conveniently have one of these now. You may see Madame Mushka now. Can you be really fast? So you are here to see Madame Muska. No, very welcome. Come closer, sweet down. <laughs> Seat. <laughs> Seat down. We're using racial language. I will tell you your fortune already. I can tell that we are on the quest of great urgency. Z will see that we can find out for you. Look, King Graham, look into the crystal ball. Looking, um, look into the crystal ball. Look, Mananen, look, look what I have for you. Take a good look at what you did to my brother Alexander, because of you he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat, and there's nothing I can do about it. You be Alexander when he gets in there. But you can do something about it, since you're the one who did this to him. You're the only one who can turn him back again. Back to the wizard, Mananen. Alexander! I don't know how, Mordak. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across some magic spells and accidentally turned him into a cat. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Accidentally. Uh-huh. I don't... I didn't mean it. 
Please believe me, Mort. I, I don't know how to turn him back to a wizard. Well, the cat kooky spell said there's no way. You're holding out on me, little man. You're taking advantage of my good nature, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll feed your family to the cat, starting with your dear mother. Remember what I said. I only give you a little more time to decide before your family becomes cat food. That is all. But I see that your mission is very dangerous. I will give you an amulet to help you here. Where this it is a magic amulet. It will protect you against all but the most powerful magic. Good luck, King Graham. Be careful that Mordak is... A bad one. That's no blame. Thank you, Madam Mushka. <coughs> that was worth one gold coin. Or the plot exposition. <laughs> Woo, don't forget me, Graham! Who are you? We're the best of friends. Oh, God. We have so much fun together. Oh, my God. It's you and me. I just want to die. What a funny pair. Where's the guns in this... <laughs> Wait a minute. I know exactly how I can stop this. <laughs> See you later! No, don't! Thank I, God I'm free! My only friend! <laughs> Graham is much happier now. <laughs> the cat <laughs> ran away. Yeah, I'm good. She was like, I don't want to hear the Cedric anymore. I don't blame her. Oh, wait. We've got to prepare. Prepare? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. This is a time-sensitive thing. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh. Whoa, that was fast. Too late. Well, that game's unwinnable. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. <clears throat> See, Graham wouldn't even let a mouse die. Let's get over there. Boom! Oh, the cat went... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, Graham. Oh God, no! When I was at camp as a child, they played that one day all day long, over and over and over That's and over, like psychological torture, and over and over and over. I think they played it seventy-three times that day. Why? I don't know. And they'd come over the speaker and go, because you requested it, here comes Happy Trails again. And we're, everybody's like, ah! oh, no! And I'm like, ten. Okay, well, I mean, we haven't had to deal with Cedric much in this episode. We're going to continue to not have to deal with Cedric <laughs> much in this episode. The magic amulet begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. He then carefully tucks the amulet in front of his tunic, hiding it from sight. Score. Oh no, I'm not going in there. Can't you read the sign, you illiterate buffoon? Come on, Cedric, there might be something important in here. Go if you want to. I'll wait here. Sounds like a plan. Bye. Wait, don't you want to hang out with me? No. Are you coming back? Never. Because now that we're I'll in wait here... i for you. Cedric dies, waiting for your end. <laughs> oh my lord. You killed Cedric in that one game that you don't consider canon. No, I don't consider anything about that game anything to do with King's Quest. At all. <clears throat> the longer it's been out, the more I dislike it. Is the witch just not gonna come? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> to Graham's great relief, it appears that the witch's magic has been stopped by the amulet he is wearing, just as Madame Mushka claimed it would. <laughs> Let's touch her. 
Even though the old witch is now powerless to inflict her evil magic on Graham, Graham also finds himself powerless to do anything about her. Oh. What are you doing in my forest, young man? Don't you know? You're trespassing? No, oh, I didn't know this was a private forest. Do you own it? I own it. It's mine. And what did you do to my magic? I don't think you need to know. Now tell me something. How does one leave this terrible forest? I'll never tell you. I'm afraid you're stuck, dearie. <laughs> now you're my prisoner. Oops. Yes, won't we? Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Here, take the magic penis bottle. <laughs> What's this? Pop. Oh, freedom at last. Fuck you. You're dead. Have a nice day. Da -da. Bewitched. No. I dream of genius. Yes. <laughs> Good. That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. But now, how do I get out of this dreadful forest? Well, there's one way we can do it. Graham, thinking... Wait a minute. Graham, thinking that he has to see Cedric again, <laughs> decides to end it all. Graham, I decided to come into the forest! Oh, he, the only difference is he doesn't have the horrible blood-curdling scream. It just goes... Aah! That's still a pretty cool sound effect for the time period. <laughs> Instead of... <"Bah!" laughs> like he does. <laughs> oh, like the Wilhelm scream. A small pouch is tucked away in the drawer. Graham reaches into the drawer and removes the leather pouch. What's this? Why, it's a little key. An intricate spinning wheel is tucked away in the trunk. Spinning wheel, spinning wheel. Pinwheel, pinwheel, spinning around. I definitely was not thinking of pinwheel. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Reaching a hand into the trunk, Graham retrieves small spinning wheel. Spinning wheel. It's like all of a sudden, like we get twenty MacGuffins by doing one thing. Oh yeah. Of course, knowing what to do helps. Come on, Graham. Look how many things we have now. Graham finds the little key fits perfectly in this lock. A little golden heart has been placed inside the crude door of the twisted old tree. And where have we heard that before? About a heart of gold. <laughs> All the music. Oh, it had a musical. Yeah. Reaching a hand into the open door of the tree, Graham extracts the little golden heart. I think that was a clue right there about the musical key. Oh, it can't fall off. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. One of the several, you know, the. The, the mouse part tripped me up as a kid. This part tripped me up as a kid. Okay, this is whatever. Let's go this way. <laughs> you know, there are several parts that made me have to start over. Not understanding <laughs> the the consequence uh -huh. oh, of... Like a minor action. <laughs> yes. No, wait, no. Don't go that way. I love the, like, the giant Venus flytraps. I'd heard rumor that that was supposed to be a death, and I guess they just didn't... Animate it? Yeah, or get to doing it. You know, they give you a hint that, you know, there's... The the eyes. Mm -hmm. Peering curiously at him through the heavy foliage of the dark forest, Graham notices several pairs of bright blinking eyes. Because how in the hell... Well, I know how you're supposed to know how to do this, because if you start desperately going through things. Upon opening the leather pouch, Graham discovers three sparkling emeralds. Like, actually, I wonder something. I'm going to try something. Let's save. You almost went to the stop sign again. So, like, maybe you might be thinking when you accidentally do that, uh -huh. and, you know, the first two... They get closer. Yeah. And you realize you can't catch him? So I wonder if... 
Squeezing the honeycomb as hard as he can, Graham causes the honey to drip out into the ground, creating a little puddle of honey at his feet. And all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax, which Graham's pockets. So, you know, if you're figuring that out, then with your last one, you just... And it's like, ah! Uh -huh. I got you, little man. Please, let me go, I beg of you. Now, why should I do that? What will you do for me? I'd like to touch you, little man. I'll show you the way out of the forest if you let me go. Oh, his ears move. Uh. How do I know I can trust you? I give you my word, an elf never breaks his word. Well, it's against my better judgment, but okay. Move over, Rocky. You're in our way. Uh, sorry. That's creepy as I all never good. noticed that he f throws it like food. Rocky, wait. Rocky has moved aside to allow Graham passage through the forest. <laughs> Why would people use this one? <laughs> Follow me in here. I don't ever remember actually being able to like walk in this part. Like it was already the movie. Yeah, like like yeah. Over here, I've got something for you. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I never take anything without giving in return. For your generosity in giving me these exquisite emeralds, I give you my finest pair of shoes, because that's an even trade. May they help you handle your quest. Just give me the damn shoes. Follow that passage. That's the way out of the dark forest. Thank you very much for all of your help. And I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for these fine shoes. Where have we heard about shoes before? I don't know. Could it be the shoemaker? <laughs> Bye now! What? So much natural gas just waiting to be found. We need to frack that now. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, you made it back! I'm so glad to see you're okay! I was beginning to worry! You were right not to want to venture into that dark forest, Cedric. I thought I'd never get out of there alive. Sure you didn't. And in the next episode, we will finish up this part of Serenia and be able to go into the mountains. So stay tuned, everybody, for part four of King's Quest V, Absence Makes the Heart Go Yonder. See you later. Bye now. Welcome back to King's Quest V. Absence makes Cedric rot in fucking goddamn hell. And since we did that before the first minute, no one will see this video. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> don't swear. I like even the game grumps have like a thing to remind them they can't in the first minute. And they like right. start over. For monetization purposes. Luckily, I don't care about any of that. Let's drink this. I bet it's tasty and sacrilegious. <gasps> oh, what's wrong, Graham? That salt water. I already did that in one episode, Graham. I did, and I did the sacrilegious with that, too. I did it twice to you. Here, have a heart. <coughs> My heart, you found it. I don't need this old thing anymore. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a princess again. How about, how about Alicia? Love. Blah, 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 blah. What is that? <laughs> Whatever they're doing. Where have you been all this time, my love? Oh, darling, just take me home. I'll tell you on the way. I need you to do things to me. <laughs> Get away from that owl before it's too late. Ooh, can we be friends? <laughs> Building down, Graham picks the harp up off the ground and takes it with him.
Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Recycle, right? Here, I have something for you, old man. Where did you get this? I thought I'd lost it. Oh, is it yours? I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. Just found it. Just found it. So that's where it got to. The old hand took it, eh? You know, this ain't no ordinary spinning wheel. It uses the ch souls of children to create gold. <laughs> it's not. What's so special about it? I can use that boat up there. Turn it into gold. Why, this spinning wheel can spin straw into gold. That's what. So you gotta know how to use it. I doubt even the witch could figure it out. Thank you very much for bringing it back to me. I think you've been eating the shrooms that are all over your uh, area here, man. <laughs> Wait, not so fast. How about that marionette? Don't you think the price of the spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. So I can stroke it. Yeah, I guess so, boy. Hey, boy, give that there marionette to this man here. I'll make you a new one. Screw you, Granddad! I'm gonna use your soul to make gold anyways. <laughs> Yay! Come on, boy! Let's go get another piece of wood for a new puppet. I sure would like a piece of wood. <laughs> Let's see if the gypsies have left now. Thanks to Cedric's racism. <coughs> oh, God. Chips. Yeah, they're gone. Doom, 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 doom. The only thing that makes me happy. Oh, oh it sparkles. It's like, pick me Ooh, up. Oh, Graham, what is that? Not seeing the tambourine's owner, Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground, thinking, those gypsies, they littered everywhere. They are just scum. <laughs> we, there's nothing. Oh, uh, love, Cedric. <laughs> No, there's nothing to the west but endless desert. Ooh. Cedric isn't in the mood to talk right now <laughs> because his voice literally... I went into the ants. Ooh, is that a new dance? The boogaloo? Come here, Cedric. Let me show you my new knife. Oh, it's so shiny. It looks pointy. And <laughs> stabby. Ah! 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 Cedric dies to the, to the happiness of millions. I wish they would do a, an official Sierra game of, of Cedric the Owl. Yeah, well, they're not going to be doing that. It's a shame. He is their Jar Jar Binks. They thought he would be a big thing, and no one liked it. Not no one. I did. <laughs> no one that mattered. <laughs> I know. That's the sad part. Um, may I help you, sir? No. I'm going to give you your needles so you give me stuff for free. Uh, like a needle! Wherever did you find it? It was found in a haystack by the inn. By the inn? Oh, yes. I remember visiting there not long ago. Vulgar men, that innkeeper, and his pals, he has no scruples at all. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours for the price of a golden needle. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me in my travels. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. Getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Quick, let's do everything we need to do. Come on in. Look around. Let me know if you're interested in anything. Oops, I just about screwed everything up. Would you like some pamphlets on the, the Nazi propaganda? Where did you get this wonderful marionette? The craftsmanship is wonderful. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it! Can I buy it from you? I have lots of German marks. Oops. <laughs> Why, of course, but I must tell you, I think that you're crazy to be asking for that sled. You don't even have anywhere to put it. Are you going to shove it in your pants or something? I don't even understand how this works. <laughs> so, I can have the sled? Da ah, ya! Yeah, take it, shove it in your penis, do whatever the hell you do. Thank you very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and thank you for the marionette that is worth far more money. <laughs> Graham shoves the... Wait a minute. <clears throat> Graham shoves the, the sled in his <laughs> pants. 
Everyone around is very confused. The daughter is now scarred for the rest of her life. Isn't it funny if, like, his body shifted? (laughs) (laughs) Stop talking! Can I keep We've already had this conversation twice, and I can't skip through it. I really like her. I told you last time to shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch! I'll kill you in your sleep. All right, Grandpapa. I will kill you later. (laughs) You are my granddaughter. Graham walks away as he hears the oompa paw of the German military march. <laughs> Is it you again? We still don't have any shows for sale. We're all dying. Old people are dying. What have we here? Mama, take a look at these shoes from the young man. Look, look at them. Oh my god. <laughs> These are the finest pairs of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes are superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Why, well, I could retire with the sale of those shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I could find any use for them. I have my boots. You're a godsend, young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. The hammer could come in mighty useful on my journey. Graham kills Cedric with the take hammer. Take care, young man. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. <laughs> the couple died the next Come day on, Mama, <laughs> before even selling the home. shoes. Let's celebrate our fortune. <laughs> Both peasants died the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that there was some type of poison in those shoes. <laughs> it was gnome poison. Excuse me. Is that lady propositioning? Excuse Graham? me. Graham is already taken by Valenice, the only woman that cries when she looks at a comb. That's really dumb in that game, by the way. I'm not counting that game as canon either. <laughs> Come up, young lady. La, da, 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 da. <laughs> I like the art Shit. style. I just don't. Care. I don't. It's legend. It's the awful Legend of Zelda people. I just don't like. I the like the backgrounds. Part. I don't like the art. Like the the at least the suit Larry. They tried harder. <laughs> I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. No one cares. Da, 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 da. You know that job I pulled yesterday? Where's the rest of the loot? I think one of you guys is holding out on me. Uh. I'm gonna be skedaddling. It's full. I ain't got no more rooms. Hey, boss. This guy here looked like a real troublemaker. Why don't you want me to do with him? I, I don't know what I want to do. Rub him out! Donk! <laughs> Struggle as he might, Graham cannot escape his bones. Good thing we saved that rat, because if we didn't, then you're fucked. I told you I'd repay your kindness when you saved me that from that terrible, horrible cat. Good luck, friend. Do you need me to kill that bird for you? Please. I have pestilence! (laughs) I bring the plague. Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. If you didn't get that, another thing that probably would ruin the game. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. Like they wouldn't hear that. Shh. Inside of the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the sacrilegious leg of lamb. <gasps> Although I already did it, didn't I? I did it for the yeah. tears. <laughs> this is a different instance of that. <laughs> Look, our inventory's getting full. I can't tell the difference between the tambourine and the uh, custard pie. The custard pie. Yeah. Well, let's let's go give these guys a piece of our mind. We have a hammer. We can we can win the fight. By the way, that's how come they didn't hear us. There's another door. We're going to plan our next job, you guys. Hey, how'd you get out of the cellar? 
I'm gonna do the same animation. Just uh, rub him out for good. We'll just hit him a little harder. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I never noticed that. There's a door there. It appears this door leads to the outside. Grandma unlocks the kitchen door before going outside. People always say, like, why they need to tell you that. They tell you that because if you didn't get the leg of lamb and you die in the mountains, it, you, know you, can, you can go back in there and go look around. Mm -hmm. Whereas, if it didn't, you in unwinnable state 47,920. Okay, we got everything. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> dun. It's a poisonous snake! Dump, it's venomous. Frightened by the noisy tambourine, the snake... What happened to... Be gone, you slithery varmint! Scat! They probably added that in because they did voice acting. A few hours later... A few hours later... I've never been here before, but I think this is the way over the mountains! Are you sure, Cedric? Cedric is stupid and nobody cares. Graham's already freezing to death. Like, he's like, diddly, 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 diddly. I'm so cold. Why isn't the owl cold? <laughs> Cedric doesn't matter. I don't know, like, how long we have. So I'll not save over the one I have. Yeah. Graham begins to shiver violently at the extreme cold of these upper temperatures, and his hands and face become numb. He can barely muster the strength to go on. Ooh, you make a wonderful perch! <laughs> How does it feel to be a popsicle, Graham? Because he's a dad? That pun just makes me... Ah! Graham, you're too close! That last step was a doozy! Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Here, Graham. Graham dons his cloak for warmth in the snowy mountains. <sighs> Surely this is the right one. That makes sense. The game lets you do it. The remains of an old tree poke out of the mountainside near an upper ledge. Graham's rope dangles from it. Here we go. Oh, wow, it does hint that it's bad. Oh, that... Oh, be careful, Graham! I like how he fell, like, six feet and died. Well, I think he hit his head on the rock. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's what it looks like. There's Cedric watches. Graham notices his stomach beginning to rumble with hunger from the exertion of the mountain climb. Ooh, be careful, Graham! Shut up, I'm climbing very awkwardly. I'm hungry. Dumb. We Dumb. should eat that custard pie. Yeah, we should. I mean, it's delicious and sacrilegious and full of sugary delights. Ay! <laughs> <laughs> Dum, 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 dum. Bomb. Do be careful, Graham. <laughs> You're my only friend. No, thank God! I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Did you not watch me fall to my death? I like how they use the same kind of thing for... When you're Alexander on the Quick Cliffs of Logic. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I think you actually have to walk across that. Or not. That There's last... so many deaths. Was a doozy. I love the musical cues during this. Oh, 
let's talk to this log. <laughs> Cedric isn't listening to Graham, thank God. Why? I would hang on every word that Graham says if I was Cedric. Oh, help me, Graham, help me! Cedric! Graham's hunger grows acute. Without food, he may soon die. Oh, he really just died. Remember when you turned down that last meal at home? No. <laughs> Has he not eaten anything since he left? I guess not. Look, it's a, like a like a chicken leg. <laughs> Graham finds the leg of lamb a bit tough, but tasty enough. Filling up quickly, he saves the other half for later. That reminds me of the turkey leg on The Simpsons Bowling. Yeah. And what's ironic with that, it's like, Help, Graham! Help me! Ooh! Cedric. No. A wolf? Are you my new friend? I don't know what you're talking about! Ooh! <laughs> considering you my best friend now. Get away from I'm me. I'm going to keep talking and talking. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't keep Cedric alive. <laughs> it's almost like we need to do something besides walk. I know. It's like, maybe. I like this part. Wait. <laughs> I like how you can go back up. It doesn't completely screw you over. <laughs> it wants to. <laughs> Yay! Wee! Oh boy! Yay! Woo! Yay! Ha! Woo! Ha! Whoa! Oh! Uh, oh! That was such a beautiful. Drat! My sled is broken. Graham's sled lies in several broken pieces on the eastern side of the icy crevasse. He mourns more for that than Cedric. What? What? Now I never Cedric turned to got evil? screwed over here. I know several people have said that they didn't feed him because they thought they might need that food later. I didn't. I was all those people that he would give up stuff for others. Yeah. Well, I kind of thought it was like, if I have this and it needs it, I'm probably supposed to give it to it. Here, take this. Perhaps it will help you. I'm not going to have It's like... If you see an owl nearby, you can eat it. You're a kind man to share your meager food with a poor bird, especially up here in the snowy mountains. Well, I just couldn't stand there and let you starve to death. What kind of person would I be? You have shown yourself to be a kind, compassionate man, and I will not forget what you did for me. Goodbye, dear friend. I already like you more than Sandra. Come back. <laughs> he could probably pick you up and carry you places, too. It's like that's not going to happen in a few minutes. Dun dum. Oh, the stoma dogs. Be quick. I'm Queen Isabella. You have entered my domain. I command you to kneel before me. Since both you and your friend over there... have so thoughtlessly invaded my territory without my permission or knowledge, I have decided you shall both be put to death. Take him away, my pets. You are friends with this owl, aren't you? Music tames the heart of the beast. Oh, God, that was quick. Wait, my pets. <laughs> Listen to those runs on the harp. That was very lovely music. I've never heard anything quite that beautiful before. I think I felt my heart melting just a little bit. Just enough, that is, to allow you a chance for your freedom. A vicious yeti has entered the area and taken up residence in my prized crystal cave. So far, I have been unable to extradite him from either the cave or my territory. If you can rid him of, if you can rid me of the yeti, I will release both you and your or our friend from my imprisonment. He's not my friend. You may rise now. I wish you luck in defeating the yeti. If you succeed, you will have my undying gratitude. 
Uh, he's not, my friend. Go with him, Sir Grey Wolf. Show him the way to the Crystal Cave. I shall hold your friend as ransom. That's fine, but he's not my friend. You may go now, Sir Grey Wolf. We'll lead the way. Again, the, your friend, the owl, will stay here. Uh, that's fine, but we're not friends. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. You, you, you're not friends. Oh gosh, this is actually moving at the speed it's supposed to, which is not quickly. <laughs> Usually it's like... The artwork in this game is amazing. Yeah, I think that's the whole reason it moves that slow, is so you can look at it. Graham contemplates killing himself to avoid having to do anything else with Cedric. Then he remembers that his family is probably more important. Cedric dying with his family dying? Yonder is the crystal cave. There you will find the Yeti. <laughs> you just died. <laughs> Sir Wolf, I don't know how you expect me to conquer a Yeti. Why, he's got to be at least twice as big as me, and much, much more powerful. What do you expect me to do? That is your problem, not mine. It has been decreed by Queen Isabel, and I must carry out her wishes. <coughs> now, no more talking. Go to Crystal K. I'm on a smoke break. As the wolf looks very angry, Graham's hesitation, Graham wisely decides to hold his tongue. Let's pet the puppy. Does the huge wolf keeps the sharp eye on Graham, there's little he can do to escape his unfair sentence. I don't know if this is unfair. I think that this is one of the only real moon logic y puzzles. The large gray wolf stubbornly blocks Graham's passage back to the Ice Queen's palace. Graham's only option is to go towards a distant cave where the dreaded Yeti could be found. No, it's not his only option. What an idiot! <laughs> mm, what an idiot! <laughs> if they would have just waited another hour, the queen probably would have let him go and take the <laughs> owl with him. Yeah, yeah he didn't, <laughs> wouldn't even... Oh, hi there. Yeah, we've done all the fun with this before. Let's just end this. <laughs> it's stupid. Everyone knows it's stupid. It's just so it's random. It's just dumb. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget this, or you can't win the game. Yeah, there's another place that I screwed up. At least I had a... I do believe we had a save. Like, not the very beginning, like, on the mountain. So very gently, Graham hits the beautiful crystal several times with his hammer until it breaks loose in one piece. He carefully places it among his other possessions. Still one of the... Someone was like, this game's graphics aged poorly, music aged poorly. I'm like, you're dumb. It was on one of the, four, like, pages I'm on. I was like, what do you mean? You, do you not know what graphics are? They haven't aged poorly. It looks like storybook graphics. If you want to see what aged poorly, look at King's Quest Seven. It aged poorly five seconds after it came out. I think graphically what aged poorly was that. I see that Master the Yeti Freddy. is dead. Queen Isabella <laughs> will be pleased. Come, follow me. <coughs> I got the corona. Oh. And we have to go back slow. The wolf is torturing his queen with the owl's presence. Oh, so anyway, last <laughs> week when I was over at Crispin's house... Oh, good. You have returned in victory, I presume. Or at least, I don't care at this point. Take it. Yes, your majesty. The yeti is dead. He will no longer be a scourge upon your realm. Are the loser and I free to go now? You mean your friend? No. Y you can have him. Yes, I keep my promises. Oh, yeah, I want you to thank, back when I, I was telling thank my you story, for raiding my mountain of the way we're going over. The horrible owl by Chris, taking him away. Crispin, I shat on him and he got really mad, but I just told him Take the shit owl and comes run. And, and shit goes. And, and I, I do just wish you luck against more that kid with his owl. And it was really tasty, but I got really full and I had to poop, so I pooped. It was right on his face and, and I don't really know. But all I know is I took a poop. You two so may really go, good. go, I said. <laughs> I can't stand another minute. Great Wolf, show these men the way out of the mouth. Well, Jen, you know, let me finish my story. And then Crispin came, and, and then he called me a moron, and I took offense to that because I didn't know what that was. And I called him a moron, 
And then he turned me into a newt. Um, Queen, can I just leave without that? <laughs> oh, this is the third and time. And then meanwhile, we, we did this. I've been finishing my story, so I took a dump on Crispin. He turned me into a talking newt, and he tried to use me as fish bait, but then I bit him on the penis as a newt. And that's the end of my story. It makes no sense. Ooh, I just prattle on and on, don't I? My whole life is useless. <laughs> King Graham, realizing he has to finish the story with Cedric, jumps off the cliff. <laughs> and we'll but come back. He really can't beat the game about yeah, Cedric. I know. So I guess we'll be back in episode five, and we'll continue on towards Mordak's lair. <clears throat> Bye, everybody. Bye. If only there was a way to beat it without Cedric. Can you beat it without saving him at the end? No, no. Oh, that's right. That you, he dies before. Right. Oh, okay. It, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking he died in that one moment. No. Yeah. Okay. No. If you don't save him, you die every time. No way to do it. Well, unfortunately, Graham does have to bring himself back to life and continue the game. Ooh, Graham! Should I continue my stories? Oh, <laughs> Graham, why did you do that? <laughs> Graham enjoys the silence of death. That, was a la that last step was inducing. That last step was peace-inducing. Graham no longer has to deal with the shit that is Cedric. Here we go. <laughs> As he jumps off, he, ah! oh, watch out! He listens to that uh, match theme. Suicide is painless. <laughs> da 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 da. Na 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 Maybe I should fly up and look for a way out. Graham, look out! It's always interesting there's like these places here, but we never get to see them. They just kind of, they're like, look what you could have seen. Or maybe it was like fodder for another game in the future. Like, you know, like, <coughs> some places will do that where they... Or, 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 it's just space, it's just space quest. Oh god, that's really quick. <laughs> Graham rescues a lovely golden locket from the clutches of the rock's nest. If he doesn't pick this up, he can't win the game. Uh, nice birdies. Coochie, coochie, coochie. Oh my. Uh, nice birdie. <laughs> Good birdie. <laughs> Gucci, Gucci, goo. Hang on, I'll get you out of this. Because you know when you're in space or in Space Quest Four, you see them in the background when yeah. when you're having the same thing happen to you. Oh, look who it is, Graham! Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. You just can't go off and leave me alone. <laughs> You'd never believe it, Cedric. Now, if only I can kill myself. I love how he's like berating you for like almost dying. Right. King Graham, blah, blah, blah. the narrow strand of beach skirts the bottom of the steep cliffs while the cold water of the ocean seems to cunningly steal what little is left. Graham notices a boat in the distance. Those are rocks, dummy. Cedric is his typical useless self. Maybe Cedric has, like, attention deficit this way. Look, Graham, there's a boat here. Maybe we can use it. <laughs> Cedric, don't give a fuck. <laughs> because steady waterfall, though very beautiful, nevertheless cuts off further travel to the north. <clears throat> Graham, watch out! <laughs> Cedric didn't even tell well, you. Now I'm swimming. Oh no, the swimmer's too cold for swimming. Cedric didn't warn you at all. Not even after the fact. Down, down, down. 
to the bottom of the sea. Well, he doesn't, you know, and he's like, look, there's a boat! And it doesn't even, like, and if you notice, it doesn't tell you in any way that there could possibly be something wrong with it. So here, let's go. Uh-oh. Copyright protection. Oh, wow. This hasn't been in any, any of the other versions. Before. It's because it's the disc version. Hold on. I have it all in the in my box, but I don't want to go look for it. It's in the manual. Okay. So <clears throat> we need X. X. And then we did wait a minute. Did yeah. it do X? Did it do it? Uh, you clicked it, didn't you? Yeah, but I don't think it did anything. We'll find out, I guess. And then... <coughs> yeah. yeah, it didn't. Oh, can you unclick that? X, M, and W, P. There you go. Same, we're going to have to do this again. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat! Oh, aye, aye, Captain! Captain, my Captain! Watch out! There's a hole in the boat! Cedric, where's the boat? I'm secretly trying to kill you! <laughs> that is definitely a thought process on Cedric's purpose in the game. Graham Fernley wedges the softened piece of beeswax into the small hole in the boat's hull. Hopefully, the wax will hold and make her seaworthy. Use the damn copyright again. I like how it's Graham's energy has suddenly run out. Use the one that doesn't work to cast a spell to give him more strength. Uh-huh. I call bullshit on that. Yeah. S. Come on, Cedric, get in the boat! Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Since we're in the <laughs> boat now... Oh! Graham, watch out! What the hell? Ah! That was a really nasty sea creature. I like how it's sort of blow the man down, but not. It's like the same chord progression, but like different melody. <laughs> Look, Graham, an island! Perhaps we should explore it! Yes, I think we should, Cedric. Should, should, Cedric, should, Cedric, Cedric's just the. You're just <laughs> upset because you're agreeing with me! <laughs> That's correct again, Cedric. Why don't I throw you out into the ocean? Graham, I don't like the look of this. You don't like the look of anything. Thank God they're going to take... Oh, thank God me. Graham, no, help don't me. take him too. Graham! Damn it. Look at the glowing MacGuffin. Where did you find him, Minota? We found him on the beach. Isn't he luscious? Mm. I don't know. He doesn't look like my type. What do you think, Corellinel? I think he looks too old and tough, but I'll fuck him anyway. I'll fuck him raw. Mmm, I want that taint. Graham quickly bends down and rescues the fish hook from the ground. I haven't had a man in months. I'm gonna stick my dick in him. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Graham only knows one song, but thankfully, it, it works, works every time. <laughs> What's he doing? I want it! So good! <laughs> Where's hey, my friend? Let's go! I'm there! I'm there! Mine! 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 Fuck you all! <laughs> Graham, I'm here! Oh, Graham, you're here! Graham, I'm 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 here!
He finally got rid of Cedric. Ooh! Oh! Hmm, to help him? Or just end it all? <laughs> you won the game by killing Cedric! <laughs> Here, thank God! Oh, there's no splash. <clears throat> Poor Cedric. Having been seriously wounded by the visual harpies, he now lies moaning and in pain upon the sandy path. Graham! <coughs> Help me! You're my only hope. Cedric, where do you hurt? Everywhere. But I have one way to solve this problem. <laughs> <laughs> I finally killed him! <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> Game you, over! <laughs> you really did kill him, but It's a murder-suicide. No, it was just... It was just, in, you know, a, a good thing. <laughs> See, look. Everybody watch it again. Here we go. Cedric's death right here. Woo! <laughs> you enjoy the games where you can kill Cedric. No, because I don't enjoy the new King's Quest. At least after the first episode. The first episode was decent. Everything after that was pointless. And it wasn't a point and click anyway, so it was just stupid. I, I mean, even when we first started playing, I was like, I don't know. Graham bends over and picks up the beautifully colored shell. There's a reason why a sequel was never made. It didn't do well. <laughs> well, all the great voice acting in the world doesn't do anything if the game's not great. Right. <clears throat> I mean, I'd rather play the original version of this where the voice acting is atrocious. I mean, ours is way worse, but... <clears throat> Honestly, that, Cedric like... is dying! Oh no, he is dying! <laughs> the, uh, the original voice acting, though, even though it's rough around the edges, it's still endearing. Ring the bell. Ring my bell. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing on my beach? I am King Graham of Daventry, and I have taken control of this beach. So get out now. I now own it. Get the fuck off my land. Oops. Can't understand a thing you said. Gotta speak up, boy. Now get on out of here. But don't worry, because I have thing to make here, MacGuffin thing. What's this? <clears throat> Now, what are you wanting? My owl friend is hurt. He was wounded. Wounded by the hoppies, did you say? Well, bring him into the house. I'll fix him right up. What does it do? Have you ever known they put that kind of on the old man's voice? Uh. Are you on the bed there? See, look, he's dead. These poultices. These the poultices should fix the poultices. Ooh. Thank God I'm a zombie! I'm feeling better already! Tell me, what was that in those salves? My employer would be very... <laughs> I said, what was in those salves? Politicians! <laughs> Guess, <laughs> Guess from the sea, lad. Guess from the sea ain't nothing special. You gotta know how to use them. I don't think he'd find them particularly interesting. It was made out of the of the poop out of the mermaid. Now, son, what was it you were trying to tell me before? I was trying to find out where the wizard Mordax Island is. He kidnapped my family and is holding them hostage there. I must get to them before it is too late. Before the cat eats them. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear that. He's a nasty one, that Mordak. I wouldn't want to tangle with him. Maybe tango, but not tangle. I tried talking you out of going there, except I can see you can't leave your poor defenseless family unaided. That's right. I'm the manly man. I can enlist someone who can lead you straight to his island. Follow me outside. Pearl. Oh, Pearl, this man needs your help. He needs you to lead him to Mordex Island. It's a real emergency. Mordex 
Jack's got his family. Pearl can't speak human talk, but she agreed to help you. Just get onto your boat and follow her. Cedric and I want to thank you for all your help, Mr. D uh, man. Don't worry about who I am. You just go get on over there to that island, take care of your family. Aye, aye, sir. We're off. Come on, Cedric. Oh, can I stay here? It's nice and comfy. Please do. Get the fuck out of here. I can see when I'm not wanted. <laughs> can he? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. A few hours later. <laughs> da -da 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 evil! Dramatic music is dramatic. I like how there's like lava falling from like volcano up there into the you know, it's it's just like Oh no! Watch out for the rocks, Graham! Brace yourself, Cedric! And I can they just lie. died. Cedric is dead, dead. Help! I'm caught! Oh help! Help! Are you alright, Cedric? No. Well, let me see. I'm fine. Just a bit ruffled is all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got no friends. I hate to say <laughs> this, Graham, but I don't like this place at all. I know what you mean, Cedric. Cedric doesn't give a damn. A dead fish lies on the rocky beach at the foot of the stairs. Pew. A smelly old fish. That's the second fish we've picked up in this game. Here's your fish! Oh, don't! <laughs> Graham. Why does everyone keep dying around <laughs> me? Maybe. I don't like this place! I hate it! Let's go home! Two monstrous statues of grotesque, distorted serpents face each other across the narrow trail leading to Mordak Castle. There's a ground. There's a castle. There's a piece of shit. Cedric's useless. I don't think Cedric's useless. Yes. <laughs> Graham, watch out! <laughs> The eyes have it. <laughs> I was like, where? Oh, look, it, it's sparkly glowy on here. By the power of Grayskull! I have the power! He-Man was like my favorite cartoon in the 80s growing up as like a five-year-old child. It's Castle. Well, it looks like there's no no way in. Let's just go home. Come on, Cedric. Like how now Graham gets aggravated with him. I feel like you're just trying to endanger me so I die. See, dead end. Let's let's go back now. Time to go home. No, I'll figure this out. He's not. You're crazy to go down into that dark hole. You don't know what's down there. No, I don't have any better ideas. Mind if I wait for you up here? No, that's a good idea, Cedric. You'll be the lookout out here. Yes, the lookout. Be careful, Graham. Thank God. I'm gonna go tell Mordak that he's in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, this part. Don't you love the mazes? I really don't. Well, it didn't go south, so... Okay. So it's south. I'm going west. Now I'm east. You look confused. Where's south? Can you just click There's on, south. The, on the symbol? I'm still going south. Okay, so it's either this way or this way. On the map, probably east. No, west, you're right, west. 
Uh, nope. <laughs> yeah, it would go curve around. It it doesn't do that though. It doesn't curve around. Oh. Oh no! You shouldn't mess with Tinker. I just wanted to play a tambourine for him. Now we're still going north. There we go. Now we're going south. Okay. That music's something. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Looks like he's humping the tambourine. What if he was? What if he was? I'm not one to judge what another creature does. Ground reaches down and grabs the hair pin off the labyrinth door. Okay. <clears throat> so, from here we need to go south. That's the way we just came, isn't it? So... South. And then... To the... Shit. I guess this way. But I don't... Yes. To the east... I love how it doesn't stay. Let's see. Now, like, the north. Wherever that is. Oh. So. There is no north. So. Um. Okay. So I have no idea where we are anymore. So I'm just going to guess... I think you're in that zigzaggy part. Hmm, it's not the right way. Nope. That's where uh, he could end up. Let's hope that it's the opposite end of this. Are you supposed to follow that green thing? No. Uh, I have no idea. I wish I had a better system of direction. I know. Now, we did, did so well on this when we did it uh, the last time, but it didn't go happen this time. And I was even using the map. And got it got completely sc screwed instantly. That's another one of the beast ones, but I found uh, several of the beast things. But we already got him. Right. I have no idea where the door is. Uh, how am I going north? And it changes, like, from any direction you go. I'll, we're clear back at the beginning. Okay, so you... It doesn't matter. I'm all kafizzled. I think you just went up and... Okay, find that... The trap door again, like the... Oh, yeah, okay. I'll find it. Mm -hmm. Well, there it okay. is. Okay, now, so let's see which way we're facing. North. Okay. Which is so, the wrong way. I need to be yeah, going south. south. Yeah. Okay, that's south. Um, so You're supposed to go to the you need this to go way. east, yeah. Which okay. let me do. And then, then you, you gotta go, go east north. again. No. Cause I went east. Yeah. So you gotta go east. Right. But then you gotta go north. Which it won't let me do. It should be the left side. Okay, that's north. And then east. North. 
Oh my gosh, are we gonna... Then east. Then north. Which is a wall. No, that's not... That wasn't north. That was east again. You need to go north of... That's that way, I'm pretty sure. And then north. And then west. Yeah, then we go this way. <clears throat> that should be to the door. And just keep going straight and then turn north again. Yep, there we go. Well, at least someone's intelligent. <laughs> Maps are just the one thing that you, you struggle with slightly that I actually have a leg up on for whatever reason. Yeah, me and Maps. No. I'm not... Oh, that's a fish hook. Graham inserts the hairpin into the door's large keyhole and discovers to his amazement that it fits perfectly. Turning it over so gently, he soon hears a soft click and the door is unlocked. ka -chung. Don't forget to search the cupboard. Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. <laughs> Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham retrieves the bag of dried peas. <laughs> I love the evolution of your voice. A set of wide steps leads up the labyrinth door to a pantry off the wizard's kitchen. It's a ladder. They use that in King Space Quest 6 and he shoves it in his pants. It's part of the Sierra props. Alright, and in the final episode, we will defeat Mordak, hopefully, and get back our family. Will Cedric die? I hope so. I hope he dies constantly. <laughs> in a time loop? Of, yes, and it never certain... ends. I just sit there and watch him die over and over. Oh, it'd be so great. <laughs> I would love it every second of it right now in my life. Ooh. Just death. <gasps> die. Die. Oh. I mean, I, like I said, oh just, life couldn't be better if I watched him die horrendously. Welcome back to a Cedricless King's Quest V. He died? Well, he's just not in this part. Graham surveys the kitchen in Mordak Castle in disgust. It is an untidy mismatch of dirty pots, jars with unidentified contents, rags, and assorted junk. Graham can see nothing that interests him, except the girl that he sharply should have noticed. <laughs> a lovely young girl with long black hair, olive skin, and flashing green eyes. They flash like... <laughs> yeah. I like how the precursor to the music for her in the Land of the Green Isles is used here. Let's touch her. The young girl endlessly scrubs the hard floor. She doesn't pay any attention to Graham. I never really noticed that about the music until you mentioned it. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Upon opening the locket, Graham sees a portrait of an older couple in regal attire. So as not to damage the picture, he quickly closes it again. Well, that's cool. I've never noticed that before. Wherever did you find my golden locket? I thought it was gone for good. I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Mordak. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Tell me, who are you, and how did you come to be here? My name is Princess Kasimi. Kasami. Kasima? Kasima. I can't... I... The spells of Mordak have ruined my mind. Oh, I'm from something. the kingdom of Green, the Green Isles. Oh my, my god. My father, the king. Cassie me Mamumu. Cassimi. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Naturally, I refuse my father agreed with me. I refuse to anger him so much. He stole me. Anyway, anyway he put me to work as a scholar girl. Oh, I thought it switched to you reading. I'm sorry. 
I'm a scullery girl. He says he will never let me go. That a scullery girl, I will remain until I agree to marry him. But the thought revolts me. What am I to do? Whoop his ass. Don't worry, I'm here to save my family from the wizard. He's got them here someplace imprisoned inside a glass bottle. If I can manage to rescue them, then I won't forget you either. I know the glass bottle you're talking about. It's in Mordak's laboratory upstairs. Keep quiet about my presence. I think this will be the most difficult part of my journey. I may not survive it. I would never give you away, and I will help you in any way I can, kind sir. See you later, Cassio. <laughs> Casio keyboard. What could possibly go wrong? Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play a weird tune all by itself. So if it's considered magic then is like <laughs> real life now. <laughs> We have all kinds of instruments that play themselves. Nothing bad will ever happen. Nope, 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 nope. I do like the organ. Come on, Mordak. Maybe I can actually go in another room. Well, we're dead at this point anyway. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> Choke! I learned this from Vader. He's like, yes. I killed him. Poor Graham. Mordak shows no mercy. <laughs> this reminds me... Bye, Cassio. Musically, right there, it reminded me of The Princess Bride. Okay, now we actually have to get caught here, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, great. It's a cat. Now we gotta restore. It's almost like we don't want the cat Well, actually, I'll show you this real quick. You! How did you get here? I have journeyed far over land and sea. Never mind, your journey is now over! Yeah, and yeah, it's over if he sees you one way or the other. Okay, now, there we go. Oh, it's a... Oh, no, blah, blah, blah. It's an alien thing. Blah. I like how at least you do get the one hint that you should be looking in there. Yeah, the, the creature runs... Because you only get, like, you know, the one hint. <laughs> There, got it. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the muscle. Okay. Cheese will block you out. It's easy, okay. Okay. No, stop it, Kyle. Shut the fucking shit. I have to do my obligatory. Look, there's a reflection. <laughs> Hello. What? Princess Cassio Casimo? From the labyrinth. I spent a lot of time down there. You know, with my friends. I met a new one, this owl. He's pretty cool. Friend? Oh, I'm getting out of here. Yes, like Dink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this loose stone once and it led here to the cell. Come on. Let's get out of here. At least she seems to, to move slower and it like waits. Like it makes you wait until you see her go in this version. They should have just animated this. Yeah, I know. Well, it's, it's like if, if you screw up, you know, have fun, fucker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, of course, stuff has to happen in particular 
way. We have to make. So we the... did all that just to get the cheese. Yeah. Oh God. Um. That was sudden. That's who I needed to see. <laughs> Not how you needed to see them. No, I didn't need to run right into him. Can I not go to the restore? Thank you. My lord. Ooh, it's moldy cheese. I don't trust it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it needed like that Scooby Doo, like. Oh, well, yeah, it does that in the. A large beast does not down the floor. <laughs> oh, come on, cat. Now, we when we need him, he's not around. There he is. Now, we kill the... It's, I mean, pretty clear that we kill this cat. Which, it's, of course, Mananan. So, you know, he did enslave our son for 18 years. And almost killed him. So, I, I don't really feel too bad, but... He's working to try to kill our whole family now. Yeah, so... The cat struggles in vain inside the bag. So, you know, when we kill Mordak, nobody does anything with this cat. It's just left in the bag. I'm sure Graham goes and gets it and does something with it. We don't see, obviously, but... Well, this looks wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fun for the whole thing. It's the new Disney theme park. Welcome to Roberta Land. Well, let's go sit down here and wait. Well, let's get the spells. Hmm, this looks interesting. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. Who knows? That's confusing. What could it be? Well, let's sit here and wait. <laughs> so what kind of huge creature had the fangs that lying the door. Like a dragon? Elephant. All their tusks have an elephant? Of course it doesn't tell us. What are these smaller tusk animals, does it say? The ones at like the top of the... Nope. <laughs> Just lots of books. Come on. You can do it, Mordak. Get tired and go to sleep. 20 hours later. You can do it. He might be on a, like a coke bench right now. <laughs> and he's so well, I, <laughs> <laughs> He can't... Oh, the eyes opened up or something. Yeah, when you get into the... Huh. I think that's something else that they planned on doing something with and then they didn't. Like a puzzle or a trap or... Killing you or something. Warning Mordak. <laughs> Any day now. Like you'd probably have to sneak around the room make sure the eye doesn't see you or something. <laughs> the eyes have it, Graham. The eye of Mordor. I mean, Mananan. <laughs> do, 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 do. Manan, manan. Any day now. Thank you. There we go. He just force chokes us, so there's no reason to... Yeah. We've already seen it. It's the same death. Tears come to Graham's eyes as he sees his beloved family in castle... Held captive inside a large glass bottle. Casio keyboard was right. 
<laughs> All right, let's save here in case it decides that it doesn't want to uh, complete this part. It does the glitch every once in a while, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Let's see which one is which. I can't remember. Okay, it doesn't tell us. Okay. I think... Yeah, I got points. So. <laughs> it probably wouldn't like immediately kill you if you did it the other way. Graham tosses the moly cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. That's another kind of moon logic -y thing in my opinion. Oops. I thought you could do that and then do that. So... It turns on and shit, yeah. Yep, yeah, so, oops. And Good I, thing you say. Yeah, and you can't restore in the middle of it. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it won't. You funny if it just, like, zap you and kill you. <laughs> I'm just mesmerized. What if it broke the game and the game's just like bloop, bloop, bloop for the rest of the life? It's done that. <laughs> that didn't seem to accomplish anything, and now I'm gonna die. Yeah. I still can't do anything. What's going on in here? Oh, I'm sorry, Excuse that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take care of you, swine. No. It, Cedric didn't even come to save us. Note to self, put the cheese last. Look, it's the stupid icon for King's Quest Seven. <laughs> it's almost like you really hate that game. I really do. A lot. Because it's, it's a baby's game made for babies. And... When I was 12 years old, that's not what I was looking for in a King's Quest game after I'd just played King's Quest VI and gotten perfect points as a kid. I was ready for the next one, and I was horribly, horribly disappointed. It was a completely different gameplay. It wasn't really that it was different as much as they just... They made point and click just the one... What they do now, the, the one thing does everything. Yeah. It's just, I don't, and you know, and now they'll put hot spots and stuff like that, but I don't like the glowing, like, I mean, I guess I can understand because it's like sometimes you don't know what to look for. I mean, we use the hot spots on new games when we play them, if they offer it. It's just, it seemed to go so backwards. You know, you look at how mature the Rose, Perils of, Rose, Perils of yeah. Rosella was compared to that, and it's just... Not the same. My thing is they changed the characters to being completely different than what they were in previous games. Like, Valenice wasn't a helpless person, neither no. was Rosella. Well, Rosella definitely improved that already. What's going on here? I'll take care of you, swine. My one saving grace! Here I come, Graham! Graham, I've heard from Crispin! What the? What have you done to my wand? You think you can outwit me, little man? Ha <laughs> ha! Let me show you a thing or two. <laughs> okay, so... Wand... Let's see here. I, I don't know if I remember which one's... Oh, it's the time here. Why, you little... Cedric's just there dead. It's <laughs> the greatest thing. The tiger eats him. Okay, now the rabbit. Rabbit. You have to hit him. Okay. I am. That was weird. Thank God they don't make you do that. You think you're so smart, don't you? Well, I've got you now. 
Your heart's beating so fast. You're breathing so hard. Ricky ticky tavy, Ricky ticky tavy, say goodbye, swine. Just let me pick, please. Time for the mongoose. You want to play this way, you want to play! Well, you're dead. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> they are dead! It's like you won or something, but... Victorious music. He forgets about Cedric as he should. His family's more important to him. <laughs> now why won't you work? Look, it's Princess Cassio. Oh, Princess Cosima. Well, I did it. Mordak is dead. Dead? Are you sure? Maybe he's only trying to trick you. No, he's dead. Did you not hear his screams? <laughs> he's dead, all right. He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He'll never bother anyone else ever again. But now I have a bigger problem. I don't know what to do about my family or my castle. I don't know how to turn them back to normal. After all you've been through, there must be a way. <laughs> game over. You forgot <laughs> something at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> you forgot to take Cedric's fairy dust. <laughs> Crispin, I have the solution to all of your problems, Gramp. Of course you do. Apparently, all we need is the blood of an owl. <laughs> While you and Cedric were gone, I did some asking around and found out that your son, Alexander, had the dubious distinction, if you may, of turning Mordak's brother, Mananin, into a cat some time back. You forget to mention the fact that he was a slave for 18 years. Obviously, this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it, since this particular spell could only be outdone by the actual perpetrator, your son. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge, and to try to persuade Alexander to restore Mananan back to his old self. I did discover, as now I see, that your castle and family were miniaturized and imprisoned inside a glass bottle. I did some research and found the spell for turning everything back to normal. Now watch. I quickly need you to give copyright protection now to make my wand work. Hocus Pocus Deliosius! I love how Cosima's dress is, like, ripped in a way that's very <laughs> revealing. Valenice, more children! My joy knows no limits! I mean, Cedric's dead and you're back alive! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm so glad you're here! Please don't put me in King's Quest 7! <laughs> now, honey, you know the punishment! <laughs> oh, Princess Cosima, how can I forget you? Come over here! So my son can come over here. Let me introduce you to my family. This is my wife, Queen Valenice, my daughter, Princess Rosella, and my son, Prince Alexander, who started this whole mess. He had the... Uh, all of you, this is Princess Cosima from the Land of the Green Isles. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. I like how, like, Graham is, like, ripped. <laughs> my lady, I am deep in your debt and I would make it up to you with your permission I'd like to travel to your land in a sequel game <laughs> can we marry now so we can have sex <laughs> all right now that we're done with the formalities <laughs> let's get on with business shall we let's end this game higgledy piggledy boo be assured that your castle is right back where it belongs, and the right size too. But now it's time that everyone return to their homes, with my help, of course. See, Cedric, no one cared. 
No one at all. Alakazam! Alakazoo! Wait, what about Cedric? What? Where is Cedric? <laughs> what? Like dead on the ground. Over there! Mordak may have killed him! Yay! What? Is there I... anything you could do about... I mean, just leave him dead. He's gonna come back to life? Well, let me think. I don't know if I want to deal with him. He's going to come back and live with me. Ab Abracador. No, I just can't remember. <laughs> oh, well. What is that confound word? Use the copyright protection from your manual to save Cedric. No. <laughs> Abracadabra! Duh. Would you beat the game if it didn't give you full points if you didn't no. play Cedric? No. I would not get full points. Cedric, why are you alive? I mean, ooh, likewise, I'm sure. All right, let's get this over with. I mean, would you play the game if you could choose not to resurrect Cedric and just not get full points? Yes. Okay, Kasima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the Green Isles? Yes, that's right. I can't wait to see my parents again. Goodbye, Alexander. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. You can... Oh, you can be sure of that, my lady. Before you send us all home, Crispin, I just want to thank you for all your help. But not you, Cedric. I wouldn't be standing here without my with my family without you, Crispin. I'm deeply, deeply grateful. I, um, what? All in a day's work, my boy. All in a day's work. Oh, Cedric. I was the one who took you to Crispin in the first place, so okay. I'm the ultimate Back hero. Back home you go. Bye, Cedric. I'll never see you again. You're my best friend. Uh, I'll doesn't be right matter. Over. I'll come uh, for summer no. vacations. Oh God, we can do grams. I'll live for you and Ugh. do everything that you want me to. Well, there she is, our happy home, and we're all safe and sound once more. Thank God, I've got that chest of gold. <laughs> let's go home, shall we? We can have that bird murdered. <laughs> yes, let's. I'll hire. Bounty's got two words in the whole game. I'll hire a hitman to, or give all my knights a quest to kill this bird. <laughs> we got a perfect. Yay. I'm actually pretty surprised. The only thing I looked at was a map. Yeah, no checklist or anything. Yeah, we didn't even use a checklist. Usually I use a checklist just to make sure that I'm still getting what I need to do, but I'll take it. <clears throat> This is probably one of the games I've played the most in my entire life, though, too. I know it's not your favorite favorite, but this is my favorite of the King's Quest. Yeah, I really do like this one a lot. It's, I mean, it's a 9.5 out of 10. King's Quest 6 is like a 9.9 .9 or almost a 10 out of 10. Yeah. This one's just, I, I know people complain about it, but they just like to come, it's just because people have complained about it on the internet, so they think that they should. Just like Castlevania 2, when they made that joke, like, everybody hates it now, and I'm yeah. like, he made that as a joke. Well, stay tuned for further Let's Plays. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this one as much as we did. Uh, I'm glad um, you found another copy so we could play this again. Yep, yeah, so, you know, if I can find other versions of games... Hi, kitty. We'll continue playing them, so... Maybe we can find a Macintosh version or something <laughs> of one of these and try them out. But we'll see you all later. Bye now. Bye.